Hey everyone, Iron Toes here, and this video goes out to my buddy Stu Mac. The other day in line chat, he was half joking, half serious, and asked how to use uh, Mr. McChilly Bowl haircut here, Dr. Octopus. Uh, and so for that, he gets to be the one made an example of, uh, with a three star, no less. Uh, so let's give him a go. The main thing you need to know about Doc Ock is that he relies greatly on his heavy attack, and I'll explain why in a bit. So he's going to be best used against opponents that you can parry. At a first glance, it seems very confusing, right? There's the three buffs up in the corner there. They, they count up to 100, and then they stop, and then they seem to be winding down like they're expiring. Uh, let's see, Doc Ock sometimes gets armor, sometimes he regenerates, sometimes he debuffs the opponent. It, you know, a lot of questions come to mind. But most importantly, how did he just trash that rank 5 blade? It's a little head spinning, really. So, here's a quick look. First off, his awakened ability. The academic background ability is definitely a must have in order to make him worth actually playing. It starts his charges out at 60 and it changes what each of the buffs actually do, so we'll focus on just the duped varieties. The Cliff Notes version is that the green buff can trigger armor up and increase attack, the purple buff can trigger heal block and can copy the opponent's regeneration, and the yellow buff can trigger power lock and power steal. Uh, and basically the first buff to 100 charges triggers its effect. The only two abilities that you really need to focus on are the special two and his heavy attack. You should be constantly trying to hit with your heavy attack. This will cause the current effect to cancel immediately and deal direct damage to the opponent. This is important because it does not make your charges start over. So heavy, heavy, heavy. And the second thing to focus on is the special two attack. This makes all of Doc Ock's researches trigger at once and then before those effects expire, reel off another heavy and get a massive direct damage hit on the opponent. Keeping that in mind, rewind and watch that blade fight again. As far as synergies go, Vulture's really the only one that makes a serious impact on the fight. He makes it to where the charges you build up don't expire just by time, uh, and this allows you to bait the opponent's specials when you need to, inevitably. Uh, and the Electro and Ant-Man synergies, they help with keeping and building the charges, but honestly, the charges build so quickly that it doesn't really make much difference. And that's the gist of it. Parry, heavy, and special too whenever you can. It's actually a little fun when you get the hang of it. Um, and so I'll leave you with this fight using all of the synergies. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. And please do subscribe and share. It really helps me out. See ya. And that's the gist of it. Uh, parry, heavy, and special too when you can. And it's actually a little fun when you get the hang of it. So I'll leave you with this fight using all of the synergies actually. Uh, and I appreciate you watching guys. Please do uh, subscribe and, and share this video. It really helps me out. See ya.